Good morning. This is Greg at the Pocatello National Weather Service office with the Eastern Idaho Planning Briefing for Tuesday, September 28th, 2021. The weather impact summary, it's going to be a beautiful Idaho weather day today. Uh, very windy and much colder conditions today. We do have a wind advisory in the Snake River Plain and Southern Highlands where we expect sustained winds 25 to 35 miles per hour with gusts 35 to 45 miles per hour. So very windy day in those areas. And we also have a freeze warning tonight in the Snake River Plain. We do expect rain and snow showers in the Central Mountains and Upper Snake Highlands. Uh, we do ex expect snow levels to drop to around 6,000 feet today. And then we're expecting warm and dry conditions Thursday through next weekend. Here's the current weather satellite imagery loop. Uh, we can see some clouds uh, beginning to spread into Idaho from the west as this cold front continues to push east. Uh, again, not a lot of precipitation with this. Most of it will be in our northern areas, uh, mainly north of Sun Valley and extending east through the Island Park, West Yellowstone area. Uh, southern areas are not expected to see precipitation today. Here's the weather impact overview. At least minimal impacts everywhere with the wind, especially Snake River Plain, Magic Valley, and the Southern Hills. Uh, some showers, again, mainly uh, in the Central Mountains, where we could see some snow showers as well with those snow levels dropping to 6,000 feet. Uh, Wednesday through Saturday, uh, not expecting uh, anything at all impact-wise. And we do have the wind advisory, uh, 7 a.m. through 6 p.m. Again, Snake River Plain, Magic Valley, uh, extending south through Malta, Interstate 84, heading into Utah, could see high winds as well. And the freeze warning tonight in the Magic Valley, Snake River Plain, where several areas will drop below 32 degrees overnight tonight into Wednesday morning. And here are the forecast high temperatures today. You can see very cold compared to what we have been seeing. Generally 50s to lower 60s in the Snake Plain, uh, 40s and 50s mountain valleys, and generally 40s in the Central Mountains. And here are the wind gusts forecast. You can see uh, very high gusts in the 35 to 45 mile per hour range. Some local areas up gusts upwards of 50 to 55 miles per hour near Interstate 4084 southeast of Burley. And again, wind's not quite as strong further north, but you're still going to see 20 to 35 mile per hour gusts in those areas as well. And strongest could be mid to late morning. A little bit of drop off in the afternoon with most of the higher winds focusing. Uh, along the 80, Interstate 8615 corridor from American Falls through Idaho Falls where the 35 to 45 knot gusts will continue. And the sustained winds, very strong as well. Again, 25 to 35 miles per hour in the wind advisory areas uh, in the morning hours. Rainfall amounts generally all focused up in the Central Mountains, extending east towards Island Park. Uh, Stanley and areas north could see around a tenth, but generally under a tenth everywhere. And the precipitation uh, drops off to almost to nothing once you get further south towards the interstate corridor. Here's the low temperatures for Wednesday morning. You can see many areas in the Snake Plain dropping below freezing. Uh, Rexburg through Blackfoot uh, and even some of the areas near Burley. Uh, all of these areas could drop below 30 and you can see Stanley area dropping to as low as 10 degrees. High temperatures Wednesday again very cold uh, mostly 50s in the low elevations to lower 60s 40s to low 50s in the mountains and again, Thursday morning, we expect to freeze. You can see several, e several areas, again, dropping below 32. So we could potentially need another freeze warning for Thursday. And here's the warming trend that's going to set up. I'm just showing high temperatures on Sunday. Uh, at the end of the weekend, we're back into the 70s in the Snake River Plain. So we're going to be getting uh, above normal conditions uh, very quickly after this very short-lived cold spell the next two days. 
And the 8 to 14 day outlook, October 5th through 11th time frame, you can see Idaho right back in the above normal range again. And precipitation. Actually, uh, southern parts may trend a better chance of above normal precipitation near the Utah border. So hopefully we'll get some precipitation as we go further out. And the weather impact summary again, windy, much, much colder today. Wind advisories in effect for the Snake River Plain Southern Highlands, 25 to 35 mile per hour speeds with gusts 35 to 45 miles per hour. Freeze warning, Snake River Plain tonight. Uh, some rain and snow showers, mainly in the central mountains. Uh, snow levels dipping to 6,000 feet, not expecting much accumulation at all. Uh, some local areas may get up to an inch. Uh, warm and dry on Thursday through next weekend. That will conclude today's briefing. Contact us at the number listed here 24 hours a day if you have any questions or visit our website for more detailed information. Thank you and everyone have a nice day today.